Hi all, Asyut from South Asia Tech. Today I will show you how to create this cool login pop-up which appears upon clicking this login button. Also after filling the details and hitting the button user will automatically be redirected to my account page. So let's break it down and show you how it's done step by step. First off let's start by adding a new pop-up template. Hit command or control E to open the finder and go ahead and choose add new pop-up. Let's give it a name and create the template. Now I have pre-made a pop-up for this tutorial. So let's go to my templates and insert it. As you can see we set the pop-ups width to 300 pixel and custom height to 500 pixel. Let's explore the main structure of the pop-up. The pop-up is built of two sections. The first section contains a heading and login widget. The second section contains a slides widget. Essentially, what I have done is use the slides widget in the second section as the background for the entire pop-up and the widget in the first section, the display top on it. I will break it down and explain exactly how it done. Let's start off the first section setting. We give it a minimum height of 500 pixels. It contains a heading and login widget. Let's focus on the login widget. We want the user to be redirected to my account page after hitting the login button. So in order to set that, go to the content, additional options and set redirect after login to on and paste the link of the page here. Great. Now let's move on to the second section. We set a minimum height of 500 pixels, both for this section, as well as the slide widget in it. I will explain why we did this in a bit, but first let's go over the slide widget setting. As you can see, we have set the three slide items. Let's see how we set them up. Go to item number one and for the background, we choose an image and we set the image size to cover. We also switch the Kanban effect to yes. This will give the zoom effect. We can set the direction here. I have set it to zoom in. Go ahead and repeat the same process with the other items. Okay, great. We are done with the slides. Now the reason why we set the first and second section hard to 500 pixels is so that it will match up exactly with the pop-up height of 500 pixels. As well as in the advanced tab, we gave the second section a negative top margin of 500 pixels. So it will align up perfectly with the first section. Now we want the widgets in the first section to remain on top at all times. In order to do this, we need to go the advanced settings of the first section and set the Z index to 1. Great. Now let's go ahead and publish the pop-up. We won't be setting conditions, triggers or advanced rules because we will set the pop-up to a pair up on clicking the login button on our main page. So go ahead and hit save and close. So let's go over to the main page. To set the pop-up to open and close when pressing the login button, click command E to open the finder and search for the page and select it. Here we want to set the login button to toggle the pop-up. So in the button widget setting, go to link dynamic and under actions choose pop-up now click on the field to enter the settings set the action to toggle and in the pop-up field search for the pop-up we just made make sure to hit update now let's see in action as you can see the pop-up appears correctly but the overlay is blocking our login button this prevents the button from being able to toggle the pop-up. So let's see how he can fix it. Go back to the pop-up editor and in pop-up settings set the overlay to hide. So it won't show and in the advanced tab we will set prevent closing on overlay to yes. If we don't do this any mouse click on the page will close the pop-up. So in order to avoid this set it to yes. This way only the login button will toggle the pop-up. Hit update. Okay, great. Now let's see it in action again. Cool. Well, that's it. 
Now you know how to make your own creative login pop-ups and set them to appear on a button click. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and pop-ups tutorials. See you later.